Hello people, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a collection video. A few people in the past have asked me when I'm going to do a Harry Potter haul, like everything, and I had thought about doing that. I took a look at all my stuff and I just thought, can I really be bothered to take it all down, get it all together to show you in one big long video and then just put it all away again. It will just make for such a long and boring video I feel so I thought I'd just do them in sections and kind of make it into a collection series. So yeah that's what I'm doing. So today I'm doing my Harry Potter wearable collection. All this includes is t-shirts, jumpers and pyjamas. It doesn't include socks or slippers or scarves or anything like that. That could be in yet another wearable kind of video but yeah today because I have so so many t-shirts I thought I would just narrow it down to t-shirts jumpers and pajamas and you know pajamas are in this because I've only got two sets so yeah that's the video for today but before I get on with this huge wearable haul if you're new to my channel and you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe to join my little magical corner and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that always helps <laughs> right so yes where to begin I think I'm gonna start with the pajamas because like I said I've only got two sets of them both are from Primark as you could probably of guest and the first set are these I wear these quite a lot so as you can tell it's kind of well worn so here's the top it says fantastic beast with the Macusa logo on it and it comes with some trousers so here are the trousers again they have Macusa all over them they're nice long trousers they're perfect for lounging about in and sleeping in they are very comfortable and yeah like I said well worn and well loved you could probably say they are my winter Pair because I have a pajama set here that could be classed as my summer set. <laughs> so yes, here they are. They are Hufflepuff themed, which is always the best thing to get clothing wise. So here's the top. It's a nice strappy vest top. It has the Hufflepuff crest on it. It says Hufflepuff and Harry Potter at the bottom and it's just a nice faint stripey kind of design. I really like this. It's really nice and simple, very summery and it came with a pair of shorts. So these are the shorts, they say Harry Potter, they have the sorting hat on them, a badger, there's a random pointing finger and some stars. It's a bit random but yeah they go with the top very well. I haven't worn these yet because I'm still waiting for it to be warm enough but when summer finally arrives they are what I'm going to be wearing a lot of. <laughs> okay, so next up I'm going to talk about jumpers because even though I have a few, I don't have as many as I do t-shirts. So we're going to start off with my ultimate favourite. Again, this is Fantastic Beast themed and I've worn these in a couple of videos over the winter because it's so warm and so snuggly and cosy. So here's the jumper, hopefully you can see that. And on the arms it says Fantastic Beast and there is a wand going down the arm. It's got this really lovely thick hood and this kind of goes around your neck to keep your neck warm, which is really, really good. I am so in love with this jumper. I I look forward to when it gets cold so I can put this on and I'm already feeling sad that it's getting warmer because it means I'm not gonna be able to wear this very often. But yeah, I absolutely love this jumper. I couldn't tell you where it's from because I got it for Christmas a couple of years ago. The next jumper, well, again, it's more of a hoodie, is Marauders themed. And just by that, you can probably guess where it's from. Yeah, it's from Primark, of course it is. And it's this, so it says Mischief Managed. It has the Hogwarts crest on it with some footsteps and some stars. It's hooded, it's long sleeved, and this isn't that long at the bottom, but that doesn't matter. I love wearing this when it's not like freezing cold because it's not something you can wear when it's cold. It's really thin and really flowy and I, I just love it. It's so, so comfortable. I love jumpers that are really baggy and really light as well. So yeah, like I said, this is really comfortable and yeah, I absolutely love it. Whew, I just had to run upstairs because I just remembered I had another jumper that wasn't in this pile with me. So I just had to quickly run upstairs and get it. It's another Marauders themed jumper. It's also from Primark and it's this one. I love this jumper. So yeah, it just has the Marauders map, got a nice little Hogwarts design around it. And yeah, it's another one I really love wearing. My last jumper is beyond my favourite jumper. That goes without saying. One of my prized possessions. <laughs> it is, of course, the 
Hufflepuff Quidditch jumper. I got this from a Studio Tour in London. It cost, what is it, about just over 70 pounds, something like that. But it's well, well worth it. It is so warm and so comfortable. So warm as well, and it's really long. You know, it actually fits perfectly. It's my favorite Harry Potter wearable item. Definitely. Right, so yeah, that's it for jumpers and pajamas. Now we're moving on to the whole reason I wanted to do this collection video. Um, my Harry Potter t-shirts. Right, uh, I guess we're just gonna get on with it. I've kind of just piled them all into a basket. Um, some of the ones that I, especially the ones I get from Geek Gear, the ones that I'm not going to really be wearing that often, they live in a basket in my cupboard because they just don't fit in my wardrobe or chest of drawers or anything. <laughs> There's just so many of them. So they stay in a basket, but you know, I do get them out every so often when I'm filming videos. I guess the first one I should talk about is the one I'm wearing, which if you saw my last video, which was my Loot Crate box, you would have seen this one. This is what came in the Loot Crate box. I thought I'd wear this one because you've just seen me talk about it. So if you haven't, you can go watch that video. This has got the Hogwarts crest on it and underneath it says Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I absolutely love this top, it's one of my favourites. Definitely another very well loved and favourite top of mine. Again, a Primark top is this one. This says, don't let the muggles get you down. This top is just so simple and it doesn't scream Harry Potter. But also the quote is like really happy and positive, which is what I love as well. Um, the top's really comfortable and yeah, like I said, because it doesn't scream Harry Potter, I don't mind wearing this out and about, you know, which is what I do do a lot of. But yeah, don't let the muggles get you down. It's a very true quote and one that I want to live by. <laughs> My next t-shirt is a Hufflepuff one and it's this one. I got this for Christmas from my brother. I actually already had this t-shirt. I bought it from Comic-Con a few years ago, but obviously my brother didn't know that and he bought me this one. So I've got two of these. So if this one ever gets lost or ruined or anything, you know, I've got another one, which it's always good. So yeah, it's just got the Hufflepuff crest on it. It says Hufflepuff, it's black. Nice and simple. Another one, I think I got this one from Primark years ago. It's one of my first Harry Potter t-shirts. And again, another favorite of mine is this one. It has the Hogwarts crest on it. It says Hogwarts at the top. It's a nice, simple gray color. It's very thin and flowy and long. Again, like I said, I've had this quite a few years. I'm pretty sure it's from Primark. It's definitely a well-loved item of clothing for me. Another top I have from Primark, yet again, is another one I have had for quite a few years now, is this one, which says Expecto Patronum, and it has a picture of a stag Patronus on it. And it's this nice purpley maroon color. Not the best material but you don't expect that from Primark. But you know what, like I said, I've had this for years and I've worn it a few times, it's been washed a few times and it's still going strong. So can't really complain about that. Another one that I've had for a few years now is this one, which says Fantastic Beasts and where to find them with an image of Newt's briefcase with his hand sticking out. I bought this before the first Fantastic Beasts came out and I wore it when I saw the first Fantastic Beasts in the cinema. And yeah, like I said, showed off my excitement for the first Fantastic Beasts film. I believe that is all of the tops I own that aren't from Geek Gear. So yeah, we're just gonna move straight on to the Geek Gear t-shirts now. <laughs> it's in no particular order, but I have been receiving the Geek Gear boxes since April last year, so for a year now. I still haven't received my March Geek Gear box, so the March t-shirt will not be included in this. I still have 12 Geek Gear t-shirts, so yeah, we better get straight on with it. So yeah, the first one, I think this might have been the first Geek Gear t-shirt we got, is this one. It has some flying keys on it. It's a nice duck egg blue, baby blue kind of colour. It's really simple design. It doesn't scream Harry Potter, which I love. Another one we got earlier last year is this Hufflepuff themed t-shirt that has a badger on it. H for Hufflepuff at the bottom there. I think it even has 
yeah the Hufflepuff cup as well it's not one of my favorites I'm going to admit here is a, another t-shirt it has the night bus on it and it says it's going to be a bumpy ride it's really funky design I do really like this one that's just really cool I like that it's cool another t-shirt we got earlier on in the year is this one which has a nice funky Hufflepuff print on it and it says loyalty at the top you can see the print on it is not actually that great. I feel like the t-shirts in the Geek Gear boxes, and in fact everything in the Geek Gear boxes, the quality of it has improved so much. Probably because they've increased in popularity, they have increased the quality in their things, I think. Another Hufflepuff t-shirt we have, this is a more recent one, is this one. I wore it in a video recently. It's one of my favourites. It has the Hufflepuff cup on it and it says loyalty. I definitely prefer this one to the previous one. What else can I say that isn't just repeating myself? The next t-shirt is one of my favourite kind of funky prints. It's this one that has Dobby on it and it says free elf. It's such a cute little t-shirt. I really like that. And the colour of it is really cool as well. I do like it when they bring out t-shirts that aren't black. Even though I don't mind the black t-shirts, but I, I like it when they bring out t-shirts that are different colours as well. Another, I guess you could say, Magical Creatures themed t-shirt is this one that has a niffler on it and it says every day I'm niffling. This is just so cool. I love this t-shirt so much. It's so funky and cute and yeah, very cool. I like that. I love a bit of Fantastic Beasts merch. Speaking of Fantastic Beasts, here's another one. This is definitely one of the simplest, but also one of my favourites because it's so simple and so cute, is this one. It's just a blue t-shirt and in this corner here it has a little pocket with a little bowl chuckle sticking out and it says NS for Newt's Commander. A simple blue t-shirt apart from that little bit in the corner there which I love because it's the most subtle thing in the world. Another Fantastic Beast t-shirt is this one which has Newt's Commander on it with like a silhouette of Fantastic Beasts around the outside. This is actually glow in the dark, I've not tested it yet, I really need to do that. But yeah, it's really cool, funky design. I really like that. It'd be something good to wear out at night. And finally, now we are on to the two t-shirts we got in February's box. There's this one, which has a Death Eater with a nice funky pattern around the outside. This is really funky and cool and colorful and quirky. Any more adjectives? <laughs> and again, one of my favorite t-shirts. I've got to stop saying that. A lot of them are one of my favorites. It's this Dobby t-shirt, which says Free Elf. And you know, it's gray. It's just a really cute, but also heartbreaking little image of Dobby there. And yeah, it's just really cute and really awesome. So there you go. That was my Harry Potter wearable collection. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. What were your favourites? Do you own any of these? I'm sure those of you who are subscribed to Geek Gear have also got a lot of these t-shirts. So yeah, let me know what your favourites are. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that would be awesome. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already, why not take a look around and subscribe to join my little magical corner. I make magical videos every single week so come and subscribe to join the fun. I've not said that in a while. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time.